we're still in my kitchen. It's the middle of May. Curiouser and Curiouser was supposed to have opened in our beautiful theater in Pioneer Square weeks ago, uh, and I'm still working on the menu. So today, you're gonna see me most likely fail another experiment, but people like to see that sometimes. So uh, I will tell you all about that. But first, I'm gonna thank a few people who are still continuing to give to the CafeNorder.com website to make sure that once we get back from all this COVID stuff and we're able to move on to phase two and phase three, we can open Curiouser and Curiouser. That's gonna be phase three, we're thinking, um, with a bang. Ethel's down here by my feet. I don't know if you can see her, saying hello. Um, and I want to just spend it, send a special shout out to Kristen and Brandon Jones. Thank you so much. Uh, Carolyn Butler, Ariel Glassman, uh, Gerard Mendez. Why did I say Gerard Mendez? It's Gerard Menendez. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. John Jacobson and Brian Antiatico. Thank you so much for donating. Again, cafenordo.com is where you'll find all that stuff. Back to this. So, um... I am trying, I'm kind of obsessed with Amanita mushrooms. Those are those po totally deadly poisonous red mushrooms with the white speckles on top. That's like the quintessential kind of psychedelic looking mushroom. Um, so because we're doing Alice in Wonderland, mushrooms are coming up a lot. And I have this fantasy of making a dish that looks like an Amanita mushroom or a bunch of Amanita mushrooms, uh, but tastes, bear with me on this. <laughs> Kind of like nachos so i this is a very vague idea we'll see what happens um i have created a little bit of gel well what's going to be tomato and red pepper and ginger and garlic kind of a gingery salsa inspired jelly so this is just the puree um corinne's going to show you a little zoop of what the process looked like with red onions and uh, tomatoes and a little just a little bit of tele cherry hot pepper um, so I've cooked that all down I've blended it I have half a cup of sugar here um, I'll better turn that on and I'm just gonna um, add a little bit of pectin I am shooting in the dark on this I do not know how this is gonna work but we're gonna find out um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this jelly and then I have spheres of avocado puree that I have frozen in my freezer and I'm gonna my idea is if it's warm jelly and it's the coolness that needs to solidify then theoretically when I dip those little spheres in there the jelly is just gonna go boop, and we're gonna have like a layer of red jelly <laughs> but then I could put salt on all around to make it look like a mushroom. Corinne's gonna show you a picture of an aminator you need it right now while I measure half a teaspoon of this out. So I have blended half a teaspoon of the pectin. This is a, just a low sugar pectin, so it's fruit-based. So it works a little bit like gelatin, but it's more used for jellies and it's vegan. So that's good. Means I don't have to make any substitutions. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stir this into my gingery, garlicky, peppery tomato business. And the reason we add it to the sugar first is because um, the pectin can um, kind of glob up, so the sugar just helps it not glob up. So I'm gonna stir this for five minutes and let it, or I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'm gonna let it boil for five minutes. See you in a second. Here's what you missed. I decided that half a teaspoon of pectin was not enough to make it jelly. So I tripled that, um, put in another teaspoon and a half and then let it come to a boil again for a little while. And that's this, which I'm hoping is gonna set. Um, this is hot water, because I figure my best, my best bet at setting is to have a hot fork, and to fork my little avocado thing and dip and flip. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna get that hot so that the tines will kind of slide into my frozen, oh, nope, broke it. Not so far, Brindley. Come here. Nope. Huh? Maybe. Nope. <laughs> oh no, you guys, this isn't working at all. Oh, and he's getting real melty and he's making a mess. Ah! Hmm. Problem is, is it's not sticking like I thought it would. I really expected it to kind of dry off in there and instead the it's so warm that the 
avocado is melting. Does it look like a mushroom yet? I'm gonna think for a second. See you in a minute. I mean, this is a legit Hail Mary. This is probably not gonna work. I do have to say that um, I hope you guys find it kind of fun to see how these dishes start out because it won't be like this when it's actually in performance. Um, it'll be started out and sometimes people wonder what the process is like and this is exactly what it's like. So I'm just gonna try and dump over. Now by this time, my little avocado sp spheres have gotten softer, which is not to my benefit. And I just had to heat this jelly back up again Actually, there's something to that. If it was, they were still frozen and I got them to pick up, this is my idea for the white. I don't know, that might be going somewhere. That definitely works better than trying to dip them. I don't know what the stem is yet. It's kind of mushroomy. Hmm. Let's say we're onto something. Anyway, if you want to keep seeing me do weird things, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want me to stop doing weird things and just teach you how to poach an egg, um, I can do Hollandaise next. Just let us know. Give a comment on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, and um, pretty soon this will be sorted out and you'll be able to come down to Painter's Fair and eat it. Okay, see you soon. Bye. You made it! Thank you so much for watching. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Nordo. We are a nonprofit arts organization based in Seattle, Washington, dedicated to bringing you an intimate theatrical experience that weaves in imaginative cuisine and live original music. If you're watching during the COVID-19 crisis and you wanna make sure our doors are open when all this is over so you can come and experience one of our incredible events, please consider donating. You can find more information and a link to donate at cafenordo.com. Stay in, stay well, and stay inspired. Thank you.